Welcome to the Flashy Science Micrometer Experiment. On the screen you'll see a micrometer and three samples of different widths. To operate the experiment, first click and drag this thumbscrew region. Drag it down to open the micrometer until the space created is wider than the width of the sample you wish to measure. Then click and drag the sample until it snaps into place inside the micrometer. Then click and drag the thumbscrew up this time to close the micrometer around the sample. You can then measure the sample width. First use the main scale with ticks showing every half millimeter and find the highest value tick mark. Here this is for 3.0 millimeters. Then use the fine scale to find the additional number of hundredths of a millimeter to add. So find the fine scale tick that most closely aligns with the main scale. Here this is 29, so 29 hundredths or 0.29 millimeters. Add this to the 3.0 millimeters, and we have the sample width 3.29 millimeters. To release the sample, open the micrometer again and click and drag the sample so that it goes back to its original position and the other samples now become available for measurement. But if you choose a sample that is wider than the space opened in the micrometer, then that sample will not snap into place. So to remedy this, simply open the micrometer a little more by clicking and dragging down on the thumb screw so the sample snaps into place. The micrometer can then be closed around the sample and a new width measurement performed. So we'll just return the sample to its original place and we could, for instance, look at the third sample. Now if you click on the icon on the top left, this will open a menu. The first icon available now closes the menu again. The second icon returns to this main experiment screen after you've done some questions. More of that later. The third icon gives you a new set of samples with different widths, like so. You can click on this as many times as you like to repeat the experiment and become familiarized with the micrometer. The next icon is click information. If you click this, it shows you what can be clicked in the experiment to allow you to control it. So the thumb screw and the three samples. The next icon gives questions related to the experiment you have performed and allows you to check the sample widths you have measured. The last icon gives you revision questions about the use of micrometers. It includes some randomly generated numbers and all questions are automatically answered. So you can redo this as many times as you like. We hope you enjoy using this flashy science experiment.